holiday magic. Caillou loved looking at all the Christmas lights in his neighborhood. He was very excited because today he was going to visit Santa. What are you drawing, Caillou? A picture for Santa, so he'll remember what to bring me for Christmas. That's a great idea. What are you going to ask for? Caillou was having a very hard time deciding what to ask Santa to bring him for Christmas. What about a toy car? Caillou finally knew what to ask Santa for. When are we getting a Christmas tree? Today, right after Dad finishes up his work. He could hardly believe it. Seeing Santa and decorating the tree all in the same day. Caillou, <laughs> we're going to put decorations on the tree, not on you. I think he's still on the phone. He'll be out in a minute. I'll go get him. Daddy, hurry! We're going to see Santa! I'll just be a minute, Caillou. You're tracking snow into the house. Caillou was very impatient to see Santa and wanted Daddy to get off the phone. Okay, thank you very much. I'll talk to you soon. Come on, Daddy, hurry! <laughs> okay, okay, I'm coming. You know what? I think I better go to the bathroom first. Go fast, Daddy. <laughs> this is a switch. I usually have to wait for you. I'll just be a minute. Caillou, wait for us. He was very excited to go and see Santa. Caillou! Daddy? Caillou was afraid to get on the escalator by himself. And Daddy was already on his way up. It's okay, I'm coming down. Daddy looked very funny walking down the escalator going the wrong way. <laughs> That's the wrong way! You're right, the up escalator is only for going up, but I had to come and get you. wasn't sure if he should ask Santa for more, but all he really wanted was this one special thing. Watching Clementine with Santa, he was suddenly a little nervous to go up and ask him for what he wanted. Go on, Caillou. It's your turn. <laughs> What's this? A picture for me? I love getting pictures. Did you write your name on it? Well, then you'd better tell me your name so I don't forget who it's from. Caillou. Ho, 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 ho. This is a beautiful drawing, Caillou. Why don't you climb up here and tell me more about it? Caillou was very happy that Santa liked his drawing. And he didn't feel shy anymore. Ho, 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 ho. Why, this looks like a dinosaur. Yes, it's a dinosaur that walks and talks. <gasps> You mean you want a real dinosaur? <laughs> no, a toy dinosaur with batteries. <laughs> Phew, I don't have many real dinosaurs at the North Pole, but I think I just might have the kind that you want. Yeah! <laughs> Merry Christmas, Caillou! Caillou was happy that he had asked Santa for a dinosaur. And who's this? Rosie's my sister. Rosie, that's a beautiful name. And what would you like for Christmas, Rosie? Rosie's a little scared, Caillou. I think we better wait until next year. I'm going to bring you something special for Christmas, Rosie. Bye, Caillou! <laughs> Have a merry, merry Christmas! Caillou was 
was proud of being a big boy and not being afraid of Santa anymore. Where are the trees, Daddy? Sorry, I just sold my last Christmas tree to that family over there. Look at my tree, Caillou. We're going home to decorate it. Bye! I want to decorate a Christmas tree, too. I'm sorry, Caillou, but there are none left. There you go, kid. If you come back tomorrow, I promise I'll have the best tree waiting just for you. I won! I won! So, I'll see you folks tomorrow. Merry Christmas! Caillou was very upset. He didn't want to wait for tomorrow. He wanted to decorate the tree today. Mommy, Daddy, look! What on earth? <laughs> Gilbert! <laughs> Caillou didn't want to be outside. He wanted to be inside, decorating a Christmas tree. Why can't we get a tree, Daddy? The man said he'd have more trees tomorrow, Caillou. But I want to decorate the tree now! You know what? Maybe we can. Really? Why don't we go inside and get that box of decorations? We're going to decorate us a Christmas tree. Mommy, can we still have a tree inside? Of course we can, sweetie. Caillou thought he was the luckiest boy in the world. Santa Claus was bringing him a dinosaur. And he was going to have two Christmas trees. Ready? Wow! Caillou thought it was the most beautiful tree he had ever seen. Downhill from here. It was a beautiful winter day when Caillou went to the ski hill with his family. There wasn't a cloud in the sky. Well, maybe there was a cloud or two. <laughs> Are you ready to go skiing, Caillou? Caillou was a little afraid because he had never skied before. Ski, ski, ski! Come on, Rosie, we're going to go have some hot chocolate. Now, let's put on your equipment. Why do I have to wear this? For the same reason you wear one on your bicycle. It protects your head. Uh-oh. Whoa! These boots are too heavy, Mommy. Don't worry. We won't be walking much in these boots. They're for using with skis. How? Like that. Look at Sarah. Sarah! Seeing his friend ski made Caillou want to try it right away. Sarah, wait for me! No, but you can watch from in here and be warm and cozy and drink hot chocolate with your daddy. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to go. It's too high. Caillou was afraid of going up on the tow lift. He thought he would fall. But if you want to ski down, first you have to go up. Don't worry, I'll do it with you. See, Caillou? This isn't so bad. Yes, but I'll be hanging on to you with this. <laughs> Hi, Caillou. Mommy, I want to ski like Sarah. That's called the snowplow. First, you have to make a pizza slice with your skis. Like this? Yes, but you have to bend your knees a little. Like this. Hey, Caillou, everyone falls when they first learn to ski. Come on, try again. You have to put your ski sideways like this. <laughs> Caillou wanted to show Sarah that he could do it all by himself. Uh, I don't want to ski anymore. But look, you've almost skied all the way down. Caillou was proud of himself. He may have fallen a few times, but he always got up and tried again. <sighs> I'm cold. I'm going in for hot chocolate. 
Ooh, me too. Rosie can't wait to go skiing when she's a little older. Oh, I wish there was some way we could all go down the hill together right now. I know how we can, Mommy. very excited because he was about to take a long trip on a train for the very first time. When is the train coming, Mommy? Train! It shouldn't be much longer, sweetie. Phew! These weigh a ton. We're only going away for two weeks, but we packed enough for the entire summer. Daddy! Daddy! I hear the train! It's coming! very excited. But as he watched the train getting closer, he began to feel a little scared. Mommy! It's very big, isn't it? Caillou couldn't believe how big the train was. The noise frightened him. I don't want to go. There's nothing to be afraid of. Come on, it's time to get on board. Are you two coming on board? Yes, sir, we are. Well, and maybe someone should help your dad with those bags. There you go. Are you folks traveling far? We're on the train for two days. Really? And what's your name? Caillou. Well, Caillou, have you ever slept on a train before? No. You're gonna love it. You'll see, it'll rock you straight to sleep. Where are the beds? That's the best part. They magically appear when it's dark. Say sleep three times and clap your hands, and I bet you, they'll show up. Really? Really. But first, I'm gonna need your tickets. Thank you. We should be leaving any minute now. I'll see you later, Caillou. Daddy, it looks like the train station is moving. It's really the train that's moving, Caillou. It just looks like it's the other way around. <laughs> Why don't we go exploring while Mommy puts Rosie down for her nap? was so excited about exploring the train that he had a hard time keeping quiet. It's kind of hard walking in a train, oh. isn't it? Caillou thought walking on a train was like being on a ride at the amusement park. Where's the bathroom? I'm not sure, but it can't be far. Can we find one now? Caillou had never seen such a small bathroom before. He wasn't sure how anything worked. Are you okay in there? I don't know how it works, Daddy. Hey, it's just your size. Here, you press the button on the wall to flush, and don't forget to wash your hands. Caillou thought it was funny to be in such a small bathroom. It was much smaller than the one at home. Hi. Oh, hello there. And what's your name? Caillou. What do you think of my kitchen? We have a kitchen, too, but it's a lot bigger than yours. Well, maybe it is, but does your kitchen travel to faraway places? <laughs> no, can't say that it does. Could you tell us where the restaurant is? There's a restaurant, too? <laughs> Hi, Caillou. Boy, that looks good. So, have you been on the grand tour? Let's see. The bathroom, the kitchen, and now the restaurant. I'd call that a grand tour. You mean, you haven't been to the dome car yet? That's the best part. Caillou was having so many wonderful new adventures that he couldn't imagine what could be better than his triple brownie sundae. 
that's a dome car. Oh, the dome car is a wonderful place. You climb up some stairs, and suddenly it's like you're flying in a plane. A plane on the train? Next stop, the dome car. Whoa! Slow down, Caillou. You wouldn't want to get a stomach ache and not be able to go flying, would you? Go on up, Caillou. Caillou huh? really wondered how a plane could sit on a train. How do we fly on a train, Daddy? Stanley was comparing it to a plane because we're above the ground and the train goes fast. Come on, you'll see. Wow, Caillou, this is beautiful. Now do you wow. see why Stanley says it's like being in a plane? Vroom, 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 vroom. Caillou pretended he was flying his very own plane. He loved watching the passing clouds out of the glass roof. Come on, Caillou, it's time for bed. I don't want to go to bed. Caillou loved being on the train so much that he wasn't quite ready for bed yet. Come in. Stanley, Mommy says it's bedtime, but the beds aren't here yet. Really? That's strange. Is it dark outside? Did you brush your teeth? Hmm. Well, then I think it's time for the magic words. Do you remember what we have to do, Caillou? Say sleep three times and clap my hands. Sleep! Sleep! Rosie, wait! I'm not ready! Now you and Rosie have to shut your eyes real tight, okay? <laughs> Are you ready? Now don't peek. Okay, Caillou. Now slowly say the three magic words. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Okay, Caillou. You can look now. Wow! Good night, sweet dreams. Good night, Stanley. Caillou was gently rocked to sleep by the sounds of the train rolling through the night. Under sail. It was a perfect day for a walk in the park. Boat! And it was a perfect day for sailing boats. Whee! <laughs> Not so fast, Caillou. <laughs> Hi, that's my boat. It's nice, huh? Caillou didn't really want to give the boat back. He wished he had a big boat just like it to float on the lake. I want a boat like that. You have lots of nice boats of your own at home. Come on. It's time to launch the fleet, Captain. What's the matter, Caillou? Plastic boats are for babies. I want a big boat like the one at the lake. Hop in. Can we go to the lake and watch the boats, Mommy? We're going someplace even better. You and Rosie are going to spend the day with Grandma and Grandpa. Where's Grandpa? Hi, Caillou. I'm down here trying to make room for my new workbench. Would you like to help, Caillou? It's your dad's old kiddie pool. Why, with a bit of patching up, this would be great for you and Rosie. What's in here, Grandpa? Oh, all kinds of old stuff. Maybe even dinosaur bones. You know, I bet this still has some life in it. A boat! Oh, my old boat. Your dad helped me make that when he wasn't much older than you. It's just like the ones at the lake. Let's go sail it. It's a little worse for wear, Caillou. I don't know if it'll sail. Please, Grandpa. I want to sail it now. Well, I did build it to last. I guess we could give it a try. It's working. Aww. 
That's all right. Every good sailor has setbacks. But if we put some work into fixing this boat up, it'll be as good as new. Caillou and Grandpa spent all afternoon working on the boat. Why don't you paint a sea for Caillou? It's perfect. Let's go to the lake now. Oh, we can't sail it yet, Caillou. We have to wait for the paint to dry. Caillou felt like the paint was taking forever to dry. Is it dry yet? I guess it's probably dry now. Yay! Oh, that's okay. We'll make our own lake. Come on. One morning, Caillou was helping Mommy make his favorite breakfast, pancakes. We need to add an egg. I can get it, Mommy. I don't see any eggs. Uh-oh, looks like we're out of eggs and I can't make pancakes without an egg. This was very unlucky. Caillou had really been looking forward to those pancakes. No pancakes? No pancakes? <laughs> Let's go buy some eggs, Daddy. Good thinking, Caillou. I can be back with a dozen eggs in no time. Maybe since we only need one egg, we can borrow it from Mr. Hinkle. Why don't you go and ask Caillou? Why, hello, Caillou. Can I have an egg? Well, sure. That's a farm fresh egg. Caillou had never seen a brown egg before. Have you ever been to a farm, Caillou? Would you like to visit one? Yes. It looked like this might be a lucky day for Caillou after all. He was going to get his pancakes and maybe a trip to a farm. It's really nice of you to take Caillou to your sister's farm, Mr. Hinkle. Oh, no trouble. Sis can always use some extra help around the old place. Finish up your pancakes, Caillou. It's time to go. All done. Are you ready to be a farmer for the day, Caillou? This is where I lived when I was a little boy. Caillou had trouble imagining that Mr. Hinkle had ever been a little boy. Hi, sis. <laughs> Why, hello, Polly. And who have you got with you? This is my neighbor, Caillou. He's come to help you out and be a farmer for the day. Well, pleased to meet you, Farmer Caillou. I'm Mr. Hinkle's big sister, Nancy. <laughs> oh, Nan, you've gone and covered me in flour. <laughs> well, of course I did, Polly. I'm baking a pie. Come on in and you can help. Like this? You need more flour on your pie and less on your face. What next? We need some apples for the filling. I can get them. Um... Where are they? I'll show you, Caillou. Follow me. Caillou thought if he could just jump a little higher, he could reach the apple. <laughs> Looks like you need a boost. There were so many beautiful apples. Caillou didn't know which one to pick next. How about that one? But with Mr. Hinkle's help, he picked the nicest apples on the tree for their pies. Like this? That's right. Caillou couldn't wait to taste the pie. When will it be ready to 
eat. Oh, not for a little while. How would you like to help feed the chickens while it's baking? I bet you've never fed chickens before, have you? Sometimes I feed my cat, Gilbert. Well then, you're the right man for the job. Caillou didn't like the chickens chasing him. It frightened him. I guess Gilbert isn't as pushy as a bunch of hungry chickens. This will keep them away. Shoo! 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 <laughs> hey, come back! Now it was Caillou's turn to chase the chickens. I found it! Caillou couldn't believe his eyes. The egg had appeared like magic. Where did the egg come from? It came from the chicken. That's where eggs come from. This was my favorite place when I was a kid. Why? Mostly because of this swing. You're going to love it. <laughs> higher! Higher! Whee! <laughs> I want to do it again! Caillou ah! was frightened by the angry cat. Gilbert never hissed at him like that. It's okay. You probably scared her more than she scared you. Look! Well, I'll be. She was just worried about her kittens. If we're very quiet, we can sit and watch for a while. Caillou had never seen such small kittens before. He thought he could watch them forever. Come on, Caillou. Caillou liked the kitten so much, he didn't want to leave it. Can I keep the kitten, Mr. Hinkle? It's very young, and it still needs to be with its mother. And you have Gilbert waiting for you back home. Come on, I smell pie. Caillou thought it was the best pie he had ever tasted, and he made it himself. You're back. How was the farm? Caillou was a big help. He fed the chickens and picked apples and made his own pie. And I got to hold a baby kitten. Farm fresh eggs, how wonderful. No, Mommy, chicken fresh. Backyard Zoo. Caillou was excited because he was going to the zoo with his friends. to see the monkeys, Daddy, and the lions. <laughs> <gasps> oh, no! Look at the time. Leo and Clementine will be here any second. We better go and get you ready. There. Now, are you sure you don't need to go to the bathroom? Maybe I need to. We can't go to the zoo. I'm terribly sorry, but Billy has a terrible toothache, and I was wondering if I could leave Clementine and Leo with you while I take him to the dentist. Sure, no problem. Can you take us to the zoo? I'm sorry, sweetie. I just can't. I have a lot of work to do, and so does Caillou's daddy. Caillou, Leo, and Clementine were disappointed that they couldn't go to the zoo. I'm sorry you can't go to the zoo today, but you'll be able to go another day. Why don't you come outside and play? We're bored, Mommy. Well, if you're not going to play, you can help me with the laundry. <laughs> Look, I'm a zebra. <laughs> and a very nice zebra you are, too. Clementine's a zebra, Clementine's a zebra. <laughs> zebra, zebra! Clementine's a zebra, Clementine's a zebra. Hey, 
Hey, maybe you don't have to go to the zoo after all. It looks like there are wild animals right here. Now, I wonder what kind of animal Leo is. Roar! I'm a big bear. Roar! <laughs> what about me, Mommy? What can I be? There's only socks. Well, I'm not sure, really. Let's see if we can think of something. I fixed the dryer, honey. What's the matter, Caillou? I want to be an animal like <laughs> Leo and Clementine. Hmm, that is a problem. Let's see if we can solve it. Clementine's a zebra, and Leo's a bear. Bear! Bear! But what can I be? Turtle! Turtle! Well, there's an idea. Would you like to be a turtle? <gasps> yes! Okay. Hmm. You'll need a shell. I need this. Caillou knew the laundry basket was perfect for making a turtle shell. Look! I'm a turtle! I'm a turtle! Rawr! <laughs> 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 Caillou scavenger hunt. Mommy, wait! What is it, Caillou? Help me with these! Caillou had some new craft supplies, and he wanted Mommy to help him make something with them. I don't have time right now. Julie can help you later. I want you to help me now! Caillou was not happy. He didn't like it when his mommy didn't have time for him. Almost ready. Is Julie here yet? I want mommy to help me. Mommy and daddy have to go out now. Mommy doesn't have time to play. We won't be gone long, Caillou. Besides, you like playing with Julie. Hi, everyone. Hi, Julie. Come on in. <laughs> Hi, Rosie. Hi, Caillou. Is something wrong? Caillou was too sad to say anything to Julie. But it didn't take Julie long mm. to figure out what was wrong. What have you got there? I want to make something and I want Mommy to help. I can help you if you want, but I also brought a great game for us to play together. A game? Where? Right here. Where? Right here. It's all the stuff we need to have our very own scavenger hunt. What's that? In a scavenger hunt, you have a list of things that you have to find. What list? It looks like you're going to have lots of fun, Caillou. Bye now. Hmm. Now it says here the first thing we have to find is a feather. I can't wait to see how we do. Can you? To be really good scavenger hunters, we need to be ready to think a little. Caillou wasn't sure he understood what Julie meant. He was still figuring out what a scavenger hunt was. For instance, where do you think the best place would be to find a feather? I don't know. Where do feathers come from? Do you remember? Birds! Good thinking, Caillou. And a lot of birds live in the park, don't they? Look, Julie! Yes, I see them. Now, if there are birds up there, chances are there will be feathers down. I found one, Julie! I found a feather! Well done, Caillou. Let's keep all our scavenger hunt items in here, okay? Caillou was really enjoying himself. He could hardly wait to find out what the next item was on the list. It says an acorn. Where do you think you would find an acorn, Caillou? Here's a hint. Acorns come from oak trees. Oak trees have leaves that look like this. Me too! Look, Julie! Good for you, Caillou. See, I told you that you and Rosie would like this game. I found everything and Rosie found nothing. But you never know what she might find. Now, what's next on the list? Something purple. Hmm. Caillou looked all over the park. But 
none of the things he found were purple. Until finally... Look, Julie! Something purple! Well, it is purple, but I'm afraid it belongs to somebody else. We can't really take it with us. <laughs> purple! Good hunting, Caillou. And good helping, Rosie. <laughs> The next thing on the list is a bobby pin. I think that means it's time to go back to your house. <laughs> a bobby pin! <laughs> hey! <laughs> it came out by itself. Well, Caillou, I suppose that's one way to get something on the list. But the next thing we're looking for is a bottle cap. And don't bother looking for one of those in my hair, because there aren't any there. <laughs> okay, Julie. Let's think. Where would a bottle cap be? I got it! Way to go, Caillou. According to my list, there's only one more thing to find. A bell. Now remember, think. Caillou could hear a bell, but he couldn't see one. He began to think maybe it was coming from upstairs. Caillou followed the sound of the bell all the way to Rosie's room. The bell! Uh, I need it, Rosie! Caillou, do you think you could tell Rosie why you need her teddy's bell? Rosie, can I have the bell for our scavenger hunt? Hooray! You two got everything on the list! Hooray! We did it! Caillou just couldn't wait to show his mommy and daddy what he and Rosie and Julie had done that afternoon. You know, it would be nice if there were some special way we could show your mom and dad all these things you found. Caillou thought about it, and soon he had an idea. Great idea! Rosie and I will help. Hi, Julie. Hi, Caillou and Rosie. Did you have fun on your scavenger hunt? Yes! Look! So, Caillou, you got to do a scavenger hunt and make a craft, too. Aren't you glad you had Julie to play with today? I want her to come again lots, Mommy. Will you bring a new game next time, Julie? Yes, I will, Caillou. I love playing games with you and Rosie. Too many cooks. Caillou was waiting for his babysitter, Julie, to come and look after him. He loved it when Julie came over. Still no sign of Julie, Caillou? She's never been this late before. Well, I left messages everywhere, but I couldn't find another babysitter. I'm sorry, honey. I guess we won't be going to the wedding after all. Hi, Mr. Hinkle! Caillou liked Mr. Hinkle very much, and suddenly it dawned on him that Mr. Hinkle would make an excellent babysitter. Do you want to babysit me, Mr. Babysit you? Really? Mommy, Daddy, Mr. Hinkle's going to babysit me. Caillou, I'm sorry, Mr. Hinkle. I really didn't mean for Caillou. Don't be silly. I'd love to. Faster, horsey! Faster! <laughs> <laughs> How about a snack, kids? Can you bake a cake, Mr. The last time Caillou went to visit Mr. Hinkle, he was baking a cake. And Caillou really wanted Mr. Hinkle to bake another one of his delicious cakes. You really liked my cake, didn't you, Caillou? But since I won't be cooking in my kitchen, you're going to have to help me, okay? You can wear Mommy's apron so you won't get dirty. 
Hmm. We need three eggs. Can you get those for me, Caillou? Now we need some butter. That's great. Now, do you know where your mommy keeps her pots and pans? I'll get it! Mrs. Martin! Hi, Caillou. I heard your mom needed someone to keep an eye on you today. Mr. Hinkle and me are making a cake! <laughs> Hello, Mr. Hinkle. I'd love to help. What can I do? Very good, Caillou. Now we have to add the most important part. Chocolate! Hi, Caillou. I'm so sorry I'm late. Wow, it looks like you now have three babysitters. Hi, Julie. Are you here to take over? Well, I guess I'll get going too, Caillou. But you can't leave yet. You have to stay and eat the cake. Caillou was proud that he had helped bake the cake. And he was very happy that he had a lot of people to share it with. This is delicious, Caillou. Mr. Hinkle and Mrs. Martin helped me, but it was my idea. I think Rosie's enjoying it, too. Hello, we're back. Oh, hi, everyone. We came home early because we thought Mr. Hinkle would need some help. We're having a party. I can see that. And you have cake. Look what we brought you. Mmm, thanks, Mommy. <laughs> but ours is much better. <laughs> <laughs> Berry Patch. Come on, Caillou. We've got to get you ready to go. Yay! Are they here yet? Any minute. Here, I packed your bag. Caillou was very excited. Today he was going strawberry picking with Clementine's family. Hi, Caillou. Ready for our big day? Come on, Caillou. Time to go. Um... Daddy? Caillou was not quite ready to go. He had something he had to do first. I almost forgot Teddy. All set now? Have a nice day, Caillou. Daddy, can't you come too? Not this time. You're Clementine's special guest. We'll be back before supper. Clementine and Billy were having fun playing together, and Caillou felt a little left out. Why don't you two play a game with Caillou? I know. Let's play yellow car. How do you play? It's easy. The first one to spot a yellow car says it out loud. This sounded like a fun game. Caillou stared outside and looked around. Yellow car! Let's play red car now. a red strawberry. Look! Wow. wow! Looks like we're here, kids. Caillou had never been to a strawberry field before. He thought it looked like any other field. He didn't see any strawberries just yet. I think it would be better if Teddy stayed in the car, Caillou. Why? I always bring Teddy. Teddy will be fine here. He'll be waiting for you. Besides, you'll need both hands to carry your basket. Okay, kids. I want you to wait right here while I get some baskets. I'll be right back. Okay. Let's race. First one at the end of the row wins. Come on, Caillou. Caillou wasn't sure if he should since Clementine's mom told him to stay put. But he didn't want to be left out of the game. Go! He wanted his mommy. Oh, dear, what happened? Let's have a look, Caillou. You were supposed to wait for me. Let's see. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> look, Caillou, you're not bleeding. Are you all right? When Caillou realized he wasn't bleeding, he started to feel much better. He wasn't hurt after all. Mm. <laughs> look, you fell on a whole bunch of strawberries. 
See? You pick them like this. And you only pick the red ones, not the green ones, because they're not ready. So, let's get started. Here, each of you can take a basket. I'm going to fill my basket first. Oh, yeah? Well, I bet I could find the biggest strawberry ever. Caillou was very curious about the strawberries. He loved searching for the red ones that were hidden under all the leaves. They looked so good. Mmm, yummy! One for Daddy, one for Mommy, one for me, one for Rosie, one for me, one for Teddy. And so, Caillou picked and picked a whole bunch of strawberries. But his basket wasn't filling up very quickly because he kept on eating them. Come on, kids. Let's take a break and have some lunch. Look, my basket's full. Ha! I finished first. Okay, but did you find the biggest strawberry ever? This one's big. What about you, Caillou? Uh, I, uh, I wasn't finished. I won because I found the biggest strawberry in the whole world. Let me see, Billy. Wow. Billy, did you take an apple from the picnic basket? An apple? You cheated! <laughs> Lunch is ready. Come and get it. What's wrong, Caillou? You're not hungry? Caillou wasn't very hungry because he had eaten a lot of strawberries and his tummy hurt him a little. Oh, I see you've had plenty to eat already. Well, you can always eat later. But from now on, why don't you put the strawberries in your basket instead of your tummy? Okay? Here, Caillou. Teddy will help you feel better. After a little while, Caillou's tummy felt much better. He had his lunch and was just finishing up. Do you want some juice, Teddy? Are you sure you're feeling okay, Caillou? Maybe we should head back home. But Caillou wanted to stay and pick more strawberries. He wanted his basket to be as full as Clementine's. But my basket isn't full. Mommy, I want to stay. All right. You can pick a few more strawberries before we go. Whoa! <laughs> it's full! One more! There's no more room. A strawberry just for you. <laughs> and that's how Caillou spent his first day strawberry picking. He loved it so much that he couldn't wait to come back again. Caillou's suitcase. Vroom, vroom. I'm driving to the mountain. <laughs> Is it time to go yet, Mommy? Caillou was excited because he and his family were going on a trip to the mountains. As soon as I finish the dishes, we have to pack. Then we can leave. Whoa, these suitcases were sure well hidden. Here's your suitcase, Caillou. Caillou was pleased to have his very own suitcase. Only big boys have suitcases. I want to pack my suitcase now. Well, the sooner we pack, the sooner we leave. No, Daddy, I can do it. Here, these buckles can be tricky. There. Caillou was amazed oh. at the inside of the suitcase. There were all sorts of places to put things. He couldn't wait to put all his things in it. Do we have enough diapers for Rosie? Oh, no. I forgot to go to the store. I'll go right away. I won't be gone long. When I get back, I'll help you pack your suitcase, okay? Okay, but hurry up. Caillou 
couldn't go on vacation without his favorite teddy bear or his favorite dinosaur. Caillou thought he was forgetting something important. But what? Caillou, could you come and get your swimming gear, please? didn't know what to do. He couldn't seem to find a way to get everything to fit in the suitcase. It uh, won't close. Caillou tried with all his might, but he couldn't get the suitcase to close. Something would have to come out. He just couldn't decide what to take out of his suitcase. He wanted to bring all his favorite things on the trip. What are you doing, Caillou? I'm packing my suitcase, but it doesn't work. Well, it sure looks like you put a lot of thought into what you wanted to bring, and that's very important. But I think you packed too many toys. We're only going away for a weekend, so you should only pack what you need. What are you going to wear when we go for a walk in the woods? Mommy helped Caillou pack the things he needed for the trip. And of course, they didn't forget to pack a few of Caillou's favorite things. Mommy, wait! We forgot Teddy! Do we really need all of that? I'm sure we have more than enough. Mommy says to only pack what you need. <laughs> and she's right. Maybe we don't need this one. Caillou helped Daddy pack the car with just what they needed for their trip. And it was a perfect fit. Try, try again. All week, Caillou had been waiting to go to the beach. And finally, Saturday had arrived. Come on, Caillou. The sooner you're finished your breakfast, the sooner we can get going. Okay, Mommy. Uh-oh. Here, Daddy, can you blow this up? Finished! Let's go! All right. Why don't you grab what you want to bring from your bedroom? I want to wear my new running shoes. Okay. Caillou, are you sure you want to bring all these toys to the beach? Yes, Mommy. Can you tie my shoes? We gotta hurry. You're getting to be such a big boy. How would you like to learn how to tie your own shoes? Okay. Here, I'll show you. First, we put one lace over the other and pull. Then we make a loop, which we call a tree, and this other lace is the rabbit. A rabbit? Really? Sure. He runs around the tree and down his hole. And see, your shoe is tied. Okay, now you try. First one lace over the other. Mm-hmm. Now make the tree. That's the rabbit. Now where does he run? It's too hard. Do you want to try it once more? Caillou didn't feel like trying anymore. He preferred to put on his old shoes with the straps. He was very good at putting on those shoes. No, I like my old shoes. Here we go, Rosie. Off to the beach. Here, Daddy. Can you watch Rosie while I put these in the car? Okay. Uh, Mommy, my foot hurts. That's because you've outgrown those shoes. Here, let's put on the new ones. You know, it's okay you didn't figure out how to tie your shoes the first time. You could try again when you feel like it. I know, Mommy. We're here! Yay! <laughs> Yay! Finally here. <laughs> All right, Rosie, let's get some sunblock on you. I wouldn't want you to get a sunburn. And you're next, Caillou! Ah, a nice relaxing day at the beach. What could be better? Let's play catch, Daddy. Okay. No, wait. I want to fly my kite. That's a great idea, Caillou. 
want to play baseball. Okay, baseball it is. Whoa! Oh, no! <laughs> I fell, Daddy! <laughs> I can see that. Are you okay? Let's play! Hold on, here's why you tripped. Your shoelaces are untied. I can tie my own shoes. Mommy showed me. That's great. Can you show me? Sure. Um, this is the tree. And uh, the rabbit climbs the tree and then goes around like this. Oh, it didn't work. Hmm, as I remember it, the rabbit runs around the tree and goes down his hole. Why don't you give it another try? Caillou couldn't remember how Mommy showed him to tie his shoe. He wanted his daddy to do it for him. Help me, Daddy. Caillou decided to build the biggest sandcastle ever. He wanted to show Mommy and Daddy what a big sandcastle he could build. Rosie, do it! And Caillou wanted to show his little sister all about building a big sandcastle. You fill the pail with sand, pat it down, and turn it over. Ooh! See? Now you try, Rosie. Uh-huh. <gasps> I'll do it. No! Caillou couldn't understand why Rosie refused his help. He wanted her to listen to him. Ready? Go! It's flying! I don't think there's enough wind right now. Perhaps if we try it again in a little while. No, Mommy. One more time, please. All right. One more time. Go! Caillou, you were right to keep trying. Come on, Rosie, let's go to the car, okay? Caillou! Time to go! Okay, Daddy! Uh-oh. The rabbit goes around uh-oh, someone's dawdling. I'll get him. Be back in a second. Then the rabbit goes down the hole. Hey, Caillou, we've got to get going home. <laughs> My shoe came undone. Why don't you let me tie them, and then you can practice in the car? No, Daddy, I want to do it. Okay, how about I help you? The rabbit goes around the tree and down his hole. Okay, now pull. Caillou, I knew you could do it if you just kept trying. Caillou was feeling very proud, even though he couldn't do it all alone. He had finally succeeded in tying his shoe. The New Leaf Where's Grandpa? He'll be here soon, Caillou. Caillou was very impatient for Grandpa to arrive. Today, Grandpa, Caillou, and his daddy were going for a walk in the woods. Grandpa's here! Hi, Caillou! Hi, Grandpa! Ready for our hike in the woods? Daddy! Grandpa's here! Hi, Dad. Would you like a cup of coffee before we go? Come on! <laughs> I don't think we have time. Looks like someone's in a hurry to get going. Caillou didn't know it yet, but this was going to be a very special walk in the woods. Come on, Caillou. When your dad was a little boy, we'd go walking in the woods every fall, just before all the leaves fell to the ground. And then, 
we play a little game. What game? Your dad and I would try and catch a falling leaf before it touched the ground. Why? What's well, a family tradition, Caillou? What's that? It's something that you do with your family every year. Are you ready to give it a try? Here, I'll show you. My turn! Caillou thought leaf catching was a great game and looked up at the treetops for another falling leaf. There, Caillou! Nice try! Don't be disappointed, Caillou. Let's try our luck a little further up the path. Oh. Daddy! My boot stuck! Come on, you two. There's a wind stirring up. Might be plenty of leaves to catch soon. Here they come. Caillou wanted to catch a leaf, too, so he did exactly like Grandpa and Daddy. <laughs> <Whoa. laughs> Got one! Caillou didn't exactly catch a falling leaf. This game was much harder than he thought it would be. <laughs> Can we try again? Absolutely. We have to keep trying until we catch the perfect leaf. Caillou tried and tried again. He wouldn't stop until he caught a leaf. And he wanted it to be the nicest leaf ever. But he was tired. And he thought he would never catch a leaf until... I got one! I got one before it touched the ground! Caillou had caught the most beautiful leaf he had ever seen. I'm proud of you, Caillou. You caught your very first leaf. Let's put it in the scrapbook. I'm going to keep it forever. Can we do it again next year, Daddy? We sure can. It's a tradition, remember? Happy New Year! Caillou and Rosie were having breakfast one morning. And Rosie wanted her tiger to have breakfast, too. <laughs> Since you're so good at feeding that tiger, why don't you give our big tiger his breakfast as well? Our big tiger? <laughs> Gilbert! Caillou loved feeding Gilbert. Gilbert? I think he went outside. It wasn't Gilbert. It was Sarah's cat, Ollie. Ollie, that's Gilbert's food. That's the second time you've done that this week. Can you take Ollie home, please? And see if you can find Gilbert. Okay. came into our house and tried to take Ollie's food. We were bringing him home. Ollie tried to take Gilbert's food. <laughs> <laughs> Gilbert? <laughs> Ollie? <gasps> Caillou, this is my cousin Lee Wun. Hello. Hello. Lee Wun's staying with us for Chinese New Year. Caillou huh? had never heard of Chinese New Year's before. It's the year of the tiger. A tiger? We call the New Year the year of the tiger. But there isn't really a tiger. There is a dragon, though. A real dragon? Yes, 
We're going to see it tomorrow. Would you like to come with us to see the dragon? At first, Caillou wasn't sure if he wanted to see a real dragon. Yes! Caillou was excited that he was going to see a real dragon with Sarah and Lee Wun. What is it? It's to wish you lots of happiness in the new year. And that one is to wish you a long, long life. Do you want to help me put it up? Mom? Caillou said he wanted to see the dragon tomorrow. Is that right? Would you like to come with us to Chinatown, Caillou? What's that? It's where the dragon lives. I'll give your mommy a call and ask her if it's okay then. Did you clean your room, Sarah? Yes, Mommy. We have to clean the whole house from top to bottom for the new year. Why? I don't know. We just do. Did you get a special New Year coin today? Lee Wood felt sorry for Caillou because he didn't get a special New Year coin and asked Sarah if they could give him one. Sure. Caillou had never seen a special New Year coin before. Happy New Year! Shing Shing Nai Hao! Oh no! It looks like the year of two tigers! <laughs> <laughs> Are you excited about going to Chinatown with your friends, Caillou? Yes, Mommy. Caillou was excited about going with his friends, but he was also a bit nervous about seeing a dragon. He wasn't so sure if he wanted to go anymore. You must be a bit scared about seeing a dragon, so I thought you would like the story about the big friendly dragon. That was one of Caillou's favorite stories. Once upon a time, there was a big, friendly dragon who lived in a forest. All of his friends would gather around and they would... The next day, Caillou went to Chinatown with his friends for a special New Year's meal. Would you pass me the jayatsi, please? Could you pass them again, please? <laughs> How would you two like some more Tang Yong? Yes! Here it comes. Go ahead, honey. Here are your Jiaozi. <laughs> that was pretty clever, Mom. I thought so, too. You can use your fingers. What's that? That means the dragon's coming! The dragon's coming! The dragon's coming! Wow! Oh, you loved seeing the New Year dragon, and he wasn't scared at all because it was a friendly dragon.